They're celebrating their catch, hauling in hundreds of kilos of fish, everything from barracuda to giant stingray. This is Malindi, a small fishing town on the coast of Kenya, where a labourer earns less than five pounds a day. But in the last few months, local fishermen have been netting huge catches, earning themselves over 50 times the average daily wage. So how much money do you make in one day? You can make even for one day 20,000 or 50,000 a day. Yesterday, I got uh, 20,000. I got a big shot. The reason, Somali pirates, who have scared off the international trawlers that have previously ravaged Kenya's fish stocks, decimating a one and a half billion dollar industry, which provides a quarter of the world's supply of tuna. We're happy about the pirate. We're happy. If the big ship, they are very far, not here at the seashore there. We are happy in the ship, they're not coming this side. If they are coming this side, ship, they all the fish, they are disappearing. It's not only the local fishermen who are benefiting. Sports fishermen are enjoying their best season in over four decades. As the sun rose, I joined Captain Masood and his crew for a day's deep sea fishing. The hooks were baited, and within moments. Selfish. <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw it jumping in the air. <laughs> it's like a whale, not a fish. Sports fishing operates a tag and release policy, returning all fish to the water, a throwback to when fish numbers were low. This year the season was very good. I never seen a good season like this season. It was plenty of selfish, marlin, everything. Wow, kingfish, gentra valley. Really was fantastic this season. For sports fishermen, unprecedented fish numbers bring tourists, something that Kenya, after recent election violence and ongoing drought, desperately needs. I asked world record holding sports fisherman Angus Paul, whose family have been fishing professionally in the area for 44 years, why he thought the fishing was so good. Pirates, you know, they're pushing, they're pushing the, the big commercial purse sailors and longliners, they're just pushing them further and further away. Well, or not allowing them to fish at all. In the old days, you'd look out there at night and see seven, eight trawlers dredging, mainly looking for prawns and having a bycatch of over 90%. A bycatch is all the smaller bait fish that they're not looking for, which they just discard. So you'd go past them and, and just see, you know, acres and acres of dead fish. Marine biologist and sea conservationist Steve Trott makes a direct correlation between the retreat of the factory ships and revived fish stocks. All the indicators are there that um, the fishery is recovering. I, I think that is the strongest indication yet that these commercial scale fisheries have been having a destructive impact uh, on our Kenyan fisheries. With only one patrol boat at their disposal and thousands of miles of ocean, Preventing illegal fisheries has been an impossible task for the Kenyan Fishery Department, something, ironically, the pirates are taking care of. On this occasion, it's the Kenyan locals, not the pirates, who are jumping for joy and are enjoying an unexpected gold rush. <laughs> 